Welcome Create with Kelly Crew peeps. Hope you've made the transition over to Facebook Live at noon on Wednesdays instead of at 7.15 p.m. like I usually do. We'll give people a moment to join us and let me get my iPad going so I can see the comments when somebody jumps in. Please, when you do tune in, if you would leave me a comment and if you're somebody who I'm unfamiliar with, just let me know where you're from. We'd love to know that. As I said, I'm going to get, get this going on my iPad and computer so I can see my comments here. Just takes a sec to get all set up. You just can't do it ahead of time. So <laughs> that's just the way it is. Let me see if I can get this going. Make sure my sound is down. I thought it was, but there we go. All good there. I should be able to see comments in a minute. If anybody comes on, let's get it on the computer too. We've got some exciting stuff to go over today. And hopefully if you don't catch the live, you can catch the replay. Let's see. I don't show anybody on yet. We'll see how this works. Let me get me all set up on the computer too. Let's see here. Refresh that page. Anybody joining yet? Nope. It's an unexpected time, I know. I think I've warned people, but <laughs> it just may not be a workable time for you. I just thought maybe some of the folks who might be working could take their lunch break and tune in to the live. It seems like at 7.15 I've been interrupting the dinner hour, either prepping for it or in the middle of it or something for some of my customers. So I'm trying to make some adaptations this year in 2022. Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> I will give everybody another minute or two since this is a totally different time frame. But just to let you know a little about me, if whenever you tune in, I'm Kelly Pitts, and I've been an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2005. I love it. I got addicted to paper crafting right away. I went to one party at Cheryl Holtman's house. Hello, Diane Harley. So glad you could join. I'm just telling a little background about myself that I joined, paper, pa I joined Stampin' Up! right after going to a paper crafting party at Cheryl Holtman's house. And I loved it right away, loved the products and had a huge wish list. So I decided right away that I would love to, I wanted to learn how to do paper crafting and I wanted to be able to teach other people how to do it because I suddenly had a passion for it and love it. So if you've tuned in, I'm going to show you some of Stampin' Up's awesome products we've got going on. We have a brand new catalog that just debuted yesterday and another catalog that is like a more like a brochure it's a small catalog that's our celebration that we have now twice a year that is a totally separate catalog that shows you items that you can earn with a $50 qualifying purchase or a $100 qualifying purchase depending on which item you choose out of the celebration so I'm excited to share some of the items with you, some of the cards that I've made with the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper that come in this suite. And I'm gonna show you a couple of little things also about how to earn those. Kind of if you're new and you don't have a clue what you would spend $50 on or what you would spend $100 on, I'm hoping to give you a little idea about that while we go through the celebration catalog real quickly. I'll just kind of show you, show it to you, show you the designer series paper, show you some of the cards that I've made and give you kind of an overview. We're not going to actually make one today because some of you, I think Diane is tuned in and I think she has signed up for the Stampa Stack. I hope so anyway, that is coming up on January 17th which is on a Tuesday evening. That's when I usually do my intermediate class and I turn this one into a stamp -a stack So where you're gonna make two each of four cards. So I am just kind of giving you a sneak peek of those. Let me show you the catalog again that I'm talking about. And 
This is the new mini catalog by Stampin' Up! that just started. It just has some beautiful items in it, and I'll be showing you a little bit of that, but I'll be showing you mostly items out of the celebration. And we're going to focus on today the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper, and I'll show you this a little closer up. See if you can see some of that. Yay, we're gonna see it up close in, in just a bit. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera down if you'll bear with me and flip it around so you can look at my desk and that'll be easier to show you the cards that we're making. Well, not making, I've already made, but I'm gonna, <laughs> we will be making them at our stamp -a stack on the 17th. So hang on. Okay, we'll see how we did. I think we're gonna need, well, that might work. I also have a new host code. In case you're not familiar with host codes, that is a Stampin' Up! way to earn goodies as a hostess of a workshop or a class if you want to have your own. I actually do private classes or host fun girls night out over here or at your house, whatever you'd like to do. And that is all. If you have an order that you place with me, a Stampin' Up! order, then if it's under 150, I ask that you use this host code. That's what helps me come up with little goodies for door prize drawings and extras for classes that I don't have to charge for. And if it is, if your order is over 150, which is pretty easy to do, then you want to get your own hostess credit. So you would not use my host code, you would use your own. All right, I am, let me get this going on my computer here where I can see comments there. Still haven't got that working properly. Okay, now, as I said, I'm gonna show you a couple of options. This is called an easel card. And I'm gonna see if I can get us a little more room here. Move this up just a tad. Sorry, you have to adjust it each time you get on the air. Kind of need to be further away, don't I? There we go. Now we have a little more room. So this is the card flat and it fits in a regular envelope this way. And then whenever you prop it up on its little easel, it looks like that. I'm not sure how you can see that on the camera. We'll see how that works. This is kind of from the side, how it just stacks up and stops on this. It has a foam adhesive strip right up there. So this part is built up on foam adhesive strips. And then the card base itself is a regular four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and then scored again at two and three quarters, which is half of the five and a half. And all you do is fold that down. And then I've added a piece. This is Mossy Meadow, the main card base. This is crushed curry, and I have used our new Hive 3D embossing folder, which kind of looks like a beehive, and it really is pretty on both sides of the paper. You can see that this side has the little hive or honeycombs indented or embossed debossed, I guess, on that side, and these would be embossed. This is kind of the inside of it. It doesn't look as much like a, a hive to me this way, but it has a really neat texture, so you could use it either way. And all I did on the designer series paper, I don't have any full sheets. I've already cut everything up for classes. So this was just cut out of a 12 by 12. There was a row at the bottom and a row at the top, as you can kind of see here 
on this sheet. And all I did was fussy cut around that and then cut that at four inches. So you get six of these like this out of one sheet of designer series paper. And in this packet, you'll get two of each design. You've got a double-sided piece of paper. So you've actually got one sheet if you want to use one side for that and the other side for something else, or two sheets if you want to use just that side. So this card would be a beautiful sympathy card, I think. And that's what I've done here. Also kind of showed you another option with thinking of you. If you had a small birthday, you could use that. In this class, we're going to use mostly sentiments from the Special Moments stamp set, which is one of the $100 choices in the Celebration Catalog this time. And I mean, it has just about every saying that you would want. and So lots of options there. But I'll show you now kind of what it would be I'm going to try to get this, the Daffodil Afternoon Easel card. I'm going to see if I can get this where y'all can see that one part at least on the card. So if you're thinking, well, what would I need if I wanted to make this card and I wanted to earn this paper for $50? So you would get, if you wanted to order a roll of the ribbon, the double oval punch that we use to do the saying here, or the greeting here. Let's move this over just a tad more so you can kind of see what we're doing. And then also the Very Vanilla, you'd, you'd get a packet of the Very Vanilla card stock, which is 40 sheets, a packet of the Crushed Curry card stock, which is 24 sheets, a packet of the Mossy Meadow card stock, which is uh, 24 sheets. So those and the punch, that would be about $50. So that's kind of how you would do that figuring. Then if you purchased these items to make several of these cards, you could actually make four, Let's see, three. You'd get eight per sheet. So you could actually do 16 of these cards using the designer series paper pack that you would get for free with Celebration. This designer, the um, Daffodil Afternoon 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so that gives you an idea. That's kind of what you would purchase. And then you would get a whole pack of the designer series paper in the Celebration brochure you would get that for free. All right, let's look at another one so I can kind of give you an idea about it too. All righty. Oops, we lost our little thing there. Okay, our next one I'll show you is the Daffodil Afternoon Front Flap card. Sorry, I can't get these all the way up for you. But with this card, if you ordered, let's see, I'll move this out of the way, show you this card. And this is kind of a, a different fun fold. It's an easy one. It's just your regular front flap, but it has a separate little fun, cute flap on the front. And that, had, that way you get to see both sides of this designer series paper. So one side is the floral and one side is the plaid with the flirty flamingo and pale papaya. So I have a little message stamped inside and you could sign your name here or you could just write a message and not stamp anything. You could kind of do that however you wanted. And then I used our gingham embossing folder, which is a brand new one. And I don't know if I brought that in here with me or not, but that's what made this print. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then you've got just a greeting on the inside that shows from the outside. And then these are some of our new iridescent 
rhinestone jewels and they really pick up whatever color you place them on they pick up that color they're really pretty it comes in three different sizes and I'll show you those iridescent rhinestone basic jewels I'm trying to see how you can see them best maybe like that can you see how it picks up a lot of different colors the <laughs> excuse me I'm gonna have to get a sip of water Mostly the pinks and oranges and warm kind of colors on here, but they are beautiful. And when you do the stamp -a stack a package of these are going to be included in your stamp -a stack All right. So with this card, if you wanted to look at that, it would be you would place your order and get the Flirty Flamingo card stock, a package of it, that I used on the front, and a package of the Very Vanilla cardstock right here, then a package of the Daffodil Delight cardstock, a package of the Pear Pizzazz cardstock, and the gingham embossing folder, which I neglected to bring in, evidently, or I don't see it at the moment. But you see how that works. So if you ordered those items and the iridescent jewels, like I just showed you, all of those plus that embossing folder, let's just pretend that this is it. We'll say all of those, you purchase those and then you get the full pack of the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper to make these. Isn't that fun? Okay, now to give you an idea on the next card what it would take. We would have, this is called a horizontal gatefold. And all of these papers that are used on here, these designer series papers are double-sided and they are part of the Daffodil Afternoon paper stack that you get for free with a qualifying order. Okay. To make this card, isn't that beautiful? Really different colors. They, it's, it's really fun to see all the different colors in that card pack. This card is Pale Papaya card base, which is just four and a quarter by 11. And then I scored it, let's see where that scored, three and a quarter and eight and three quarters. Scored it three and a quarter and eight and three quarters. All right. And then you've got your pieces of designer series paper that fit right on there. And I'm not going to give away all the secrets because I want you to come to the class and make these yourself. Okay. But if you wanted to make this one, this is a horizontal gatefold. We could give you a close-up of that, kind of what you would need right here, horizontal gatefold. We would order the... Very vanilla cardstock. Yes. Very vanilla cardstock. The pale papaya cardstock. The pear pizzazz cardstock. The elegant tag punch. And that would be around your 50. Oh, and the pale papaya ribbon comes in this roll. So that, if you placed an order for those items, you would be able to make multiples of these cards. At least, probably 12 of these cards, I would say. Like this. And this is one side, this is a different paper. These aren't front and back of the same paper, so you, you've got plenty to cut these out. All right, and then you would get the Daffodil Afternoon paper free to make these. So that gives you an idea with that one. Now we'll move on to the fourth one. And they've been in no particular order, just kind of however they were stacked over here. <laughs> and then I'll show you all four of them again at the end. And I was gonna get your idea on this one too. This is a vertical 
gatefold, which means it goes up and down and it opens like a gate. And usually gatefolds are exactly cut in the middle, but this one is a little offset. So it is scored at two and a half and six and three quarters, two and a half and six and three quarters. So we've got a little bit of the designer series paper here. We have some on both of these flaps. And then this is using a die, a, the die cut, cut this little frame out and it cuts that little slit in there to give it some interest, isn't that pretty? And then you can add, if you wanted to add one of the bumblebee trinkets or the butterfly trinkets, we have brass butterflies and we have bumblebee trinkets that I'm trying to locate here that are in my stack. I think I'm, I'm gonna, I think I really like the size of this bumblebee one. So we're going to just attach that with a glue dot. And usually I take the glue dot, I take the item that I'm trying to glue to the glue dot and then just kind of twist it off. And put a couple of those on there. And I really like the size of that on there. Isn't that pretty, the bumblebee trinket? All righty, there we go. So if you wanted to make this card, this is the vertical one, you would purchase the a pack of the very vanilla cardstock a pack of the crushed curry cardstock and the scalloped contours dies which is as i said these are just awesome you can do each little rectangle is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and yet it has a different design. They have stitching all around and each one is different. It's just a beautiful set. It goes with the color and contour bundle, which if y'all will let me know you're interested, I will email you a PDF of a card designed with this scallop color and contour bundle, which the stamp set has some floral designs too and the little scallop, isn't that pretty? But these dies I use on a lot of different things. The Scalloped Contours dies, item number 155560. So that's what you would order if you're looking for these cards. And then I would suggest the extras of the Bumblebee Trinkets and the Iridescent Rhinestones. But that would be these three items. You, that would be get you to the $50 level so that you get your designer series paper free to make this card. What do you think of those? Hope you'll join me for the stamp -a stack class on January 17th. You can let me know you're interested by emailing me at kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, at createwithkelly.com. I'm gonna put all these cards back out again See if I can get them where you can see them all. May not be able to get all of them quite in the screen. We shall see. Maybe if we do this, like that, they'll kind of fit a little better. It's like working a jigsaw puzzle here. <laughs> Trying to see it on the screen. But I would love it if you like my style, my designs, kind of the way I think, the way I put things together. I would love to be your demonstrator. I'd love to send you a catalog if you don't already have one. If you don't have a demonstrator already, be glad to do that. So if you're interested in making these particular cards, holler at me at the createwithkelly.com and we can certainly send you a catalog and you can come to the stamp -a stack or you can just pick your catalog up there. Would love to have you. I will be sending out pricing details and all of that. I already have four people signed up, I think, 
So I have limited supplies ready for you, but I can use several more people. So I would love to have you. And please subscribe to my blog at kelly at createwithkelly.com and make sure you spell the Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y. I won't say that's the right way. It just happens to be the way I, my mom and dad spelled it <laughs> for me. So thank you again for joining. I will turn the camera up one more time so I can say goodbye. And... Y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining me for this live at noon. And let me know what you think of this time. See if we've got that correct, facing the correct way. I'm going to hold the cards up so we can hopefully get a shot on Facebook. You know how they are. They always pick you some weird position. <laughs> Doing something strange. It seems like all the, the photos that they show... So I'm going to try to give it a chance to take a photo with all these cards. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. We'll get see if we can get a good shot here. It's hard to, hard to get it exactly right on the camera. But I am, again, Kelly Pitts, and I, I'm in Lubbock, Texas, but I can serve customers all throughout the United States. And I'm excited to have shared the celebration pack with you for Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper, which you can earn for free when you purchase products from me in my online store. So you can find my online store, you can find my calendar, you can find everything when you go to createwithkelly.com and just subscribe there. Easy peasy. All right. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you have a great day. Fun times ahead. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, Deborah. I just now saw that you're watching. Deborah Burdick, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you need a catalog. Thanks. Bye-bye.